So the parts came in pretty quick uh, from uh, wheel horse parts and more. So cleaned out the cylinder here. That looked pretty good. Um, there was just a little bit of metal here, but that wasn't really a big deal. But what we're going to do, we'll start on this. Here's my parts down here. Came with um, this small O-ring here that I need for this. This other one that goes, uh, I'm not exactly sure where that goes yet. A uh, bunch of O-rings here. And then this piece, which was, this is that, this, this is this piece right here. So you can see how this is, this is uh, nice and squishy and this is really hard. And that's where the leak was coming from. So we're going to take this off first. Let me just get under here with my pick. And, oh wow, this is hard too. I wonder if synthetic oil makes these more brittle than um, regular 10, 10W30. Or maybe it's an additive or something in there. It's probably what it is that's doing it. I'll come back when I get this off. Well, I got it off, but this one feels fine. But it does look a little different. It looks a little thinner than this one, this newer one feels a little bit uh, fatter. I'm just going to roll this on. Try to do the least amount of damage to it. These threads are really sharp. So let's try to... I just do not want to damage this. I'll just try rolling it down. Get her on down. Get her right there. Okay, so we're in. That's good and it's spinning. All right, so that is all set. Next, this is the, uh, I'll replace this one first. And I'll get my pick under here too, the sharp pick that I've stuck myself with a couple times already. Okay. There we go, I'm underneath. I'll just pull that off. This one feels good too. Yeah, it's supple, not brittle. Wearing my GoPro today, chest mount. There we go. Yep, that's nice. That's nice. That's on. Then we'll take these off. Now these, these there's three here. And this is, I'll show it to you. There's one. So I bought these, let me back up. I bought these wheel horse uh, parts and more and I, I didn't they have a, an eBay site too but I, I went right to the website bought it right from the website I got it within three or four days four days I think within the week I mean it was really fast shipping and I figured ordering from the website they wouldn't incur these crazy uh, eBay fees so and I got to see everything that they had in stock Sometimes you only, they only put certain things on eBay. So let's get this off. But yeah, just in a few days I got it. it wasn't, which was really nice. These parts are really getting hard to come by for wheel horses, and um, they they have a lot. He fabricates this. They fabricate this stuff, so a lot of this stuff is all made, which is great. But you know, you start getting into that owning. There's just things in there that. Can't really get any more they're getting harder and harder to come by so thankfully my engine's running good but at some point um, it's gonna be hard to find these things and I'm probably gonna have to make a decision as to if any major goes with the 520 I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna source parts from so we'll put this one on this goes on first Oh yeah, that's a that's really nice, nice and smooth. That one's on. We'll put this new one on here. Hopefully, I'm not uh, shoving this moving around too much. I'm trying to 
keep you centered and I have no idea what you're seeing. All right, let's get this last one on like, there we go. All right, so, so that's done. I'm wondering if there is an O-ring in here. So there's an O-ring in here that I have to try to get out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this inner O-ring and see which one that is, if that is this one, if I have to somehow find a way to get that in there. Not sure. All right, got it out. And that's that feels good too, but so that was buried, I don't know if you can see in there, but it was inside here. All right, so I got that in too. That just uh, got it started and I just used the end of this shaft and pushed it into the groove. So you could probably see that, that that's got a good, it's proud of the inside, so we're good there. And then next is cleaning out this thing again. The fat, the wider part goes in first. That's how that works. All right. So here's our cylinder. This one in the back. Then uh, we'll walk this one on. Oh, here, there. A locking nut here. There's no washer on this, just a locking nut. There we go. All right, this is gonna we'll slowly walk this in, like so. It's gotta get past that. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna tap this to get it even with my hole here so I can put this in. There we go. All right, so I got that pin in uh, like that. And then this washer like that. Then this bushing, then the brake, which will fit in that bushing, and then this bushing that'll fit in the brake, like that, just like that. And I can hook my brake up like so. Put that in there. It's my parking brake. Okay. And then this I'll go on like so. Now this up here. Keep these things all together. So, all right, so I'm just going to fill this up here so we're not starting this out dry. It's just 10 way 10W30. I'm lifting the tractor right, right off the ground. Nice. 
Yeah, I've got the, uh, I had to move the tractor because I had to put the snowmobile in the, in the trailer. So I have the blades sitting on this dolly. There we go. So we'll start it up again here. leaks here but I'm getting some leaks in the back so I want to check this because uh, maybe I took the o-ring off of this I don't know all right I replaced this front seal and I used uh, a 0 12 9.25 1.78 1 that's the size I used and uh, I'm checking it no leaks so far good no leaks and no leaks here either so we're all good call this good I'm gonna put the uh, floor running board back on and then I'll take this outside and just uh, run it around a little bit to warm it up I want to make sure that I'm not uh, once it warms up that I'm not losing oil because it is full synthetic and it's a little thinner viscosity thanks a lot everybody for checking out this video and Rebuilding this hydraulic cylinder on the 1989 Wheelhorse 520H, the last year of Wheelhorse Corporation before Toro took it over. So, thank you all for watching this and uh, appreciate uh, you leaving a comment down below, clicking the like button, and I'll see everybody real soon.